By now we have already converted almost every JavaScript file into TypeScript file. But there are still a couple of files, which are these two files progress and total progress that store composable functions. So in this lesson we're going to convert these remaining files into TypeScript as well. And actually converting these files will be no different than converting normal JavaScript files. So in here first of all we're going to assign explicit return types to each of these computed properties. Let's start with the first one. This computed property should return value of the type progress color class. So we're going to explicitly assign this type in here, just like we do for all functions. And then let's add an import statement for this file. And to highlight that this is a type, we're going to use keyword type in this statement like this. And of course, in order for types to work, we have to change extension of this file on ts. Then we're gonna assign type for the first parameter of this composable. This is an activity object, which will already have a type for called activity. And as for other computed properties, these properties will return value of the type number. So let's specify this type for both properties. And by the way, based on the return value of this composable function, TypeScript was able to automatically derive type for the return value of this composable function. But we may make a mistake and return some wrong value from this function. So I prefer to copy this whole type and specify it explicitly as a return type in here. And what this gives us is if we're going to, for example, return some invalid type, from this function. In this case, TypeScript is going to let us know about it, that we have made a mistake. So I prefer to keep this explicit type in here. And by the way, computed ref type should be imported from the view package, like so. So now let's try to return some invalid value from this function and make sure that TypeScript is going to let us know that we have made a mistake. As we can see, it gives us an error. So we have guarantees that this function will return only valid values. So now that we have fully typed the first composable function, let's move on and do the same for another composable function total progress. Here we're gonna do almost the same things. Firstly we're going to assign return types for all these computed properties used inside this composable. The first computed property will return value of the type progress color class. And as always, this is a custom type, so it has to be imported. And other computed properties in this function will have a numeric type. So I'm gonna use number for both of these computed properties. Besides that, I also prefer to explicitly assign types for return values of closures that we pass to map as well as reduce functions. And both of these functions are also going to return numeric type. And by the way, TypeScript was able to automatically determine proper types for both parameters, total as well as seconds. At the end, just like we have done with previous composable function, we're going to manually assign type of the return value for this composable. Let's copy this type from here and use it as a return type. And also let's not forget an import computed ref type from the view package. That is going to give us additional guarantees and ensure that we are going to return only correct types from this composable function. So at this point we were able to convert all the JavaScript files in our application to TypeScript files. And in the next lesson we're going to work on view components and integrate TypeScript into files with an extension.view. Link to the source code of this project will be in the video description.